this, this morning, I'm going to share with you out of the book of Acts. The book of Acts is written by a Gentile physician named Luke. And the book of Acts records the history of the first century church. It's birth on the day of Pentecost, where 120 are filled with the Spirit. Peter preaches a message, 3,000 are saved. And the spread of the witness of the church across the Roman Empire as God adds multitudes upon multitudes to the ever-growing kingdom that is being advanced by the apostolic fathers and those who by virtue are being saved by their ministry. And in Acts 14, Luke records one of the stories of the advancement of this gospel. And I believe within this chapter there are several principles for us today that if we would have eyes to see and ears to hear... God, by his spirit, could do something fresh in, in our lives. Acts 14, starting in verse 1, the Bible records this story. At Iconium, Paul and Barnabas went as usual into the Jewish synagogue. And there they spoke so effectively that a great number of Jews and Greeks believed. See, Acts 14 is recording the tail end of Paul's first missionary journey. He is traveling with a ministry companion named Barnabas, and they are visiting a series of cities which are located in modern-day Turkey. Cities like Antioch, Derbe, Lystra, and others. See, Paul lived in an age that was known for its constant chaos. In the time frame of this journey, there is simultaneously a great famine happening in Jerusalem. The emperor Claudius is expelling all the Jews from Rome. A great persecution of Christians is rampant. And right in the midst of it, Paul gets a bright idea. I'll take a missionary journey. I'll visit these major cities across the Roman Empire. And I will spread the gospel before it is too late. Every emperor would seek to enshrine their legacy by expanding their borders. And people don't realize this, but at the height of the Roman Empire, its conquered lands stretched all the way from Great Britain to Iraq. And the early church, they would actually use this to their advantage, spreading the gospel to the borders of the known world and seeing entire regions transformed along the way. See, this first missionary journey, it's happening about 10 years after Paul's miraculous conversion on the road to Damascus. In that 10-year time period, Paul has undergone quite the transformation. He has gone from the great persecutor of the church to the great evangelist of the church. And his specialty is convincing Jews in the synagogue and reaching Gentiles in the marketplace. Now, I want you to notice this about Paul. After his conversion experience, God uses him in the same spheres of influence he had before, but this time it's in a redeemed fashion. Paul is still in the synagogue, but this time he ain't teaching religion, he's winning souls. Paul is still in the marketplace. 